morning. Quarter past five. Put the bacon on. Put the brew on. Put the fire on. Had a good night's sleep, apart from one mad noise at half one in the morning, like some wild animal. Like being really aggressive. I'm not going to make the sound it made, but like cross between like a, a barking and a growl. It was really loud, like it was close in this area somewhere, but I didn't hear the footsteps or anything. And then I heard it once more, about 10 minutes later, but it was further away. It kept me awake. <laughs> Get me work for about 40 minutes, I was thinking I'm going to get eaten alive. And I fell back asleep and woke up at five when the alarm went off. There's the bacon cooking. The fire. I'll show you the view in a minute. Need a bit of a proper frying pan, I think. Guys, a lot bluer, a bit of cloud in it, but I'll show you that in a minute. Let's have a walk down when this is cooked. I'll show you the view down there and what have you. Right, we'll put the bacon butter out. <laughs> Two deer have just run through behind the bike. Got a little clearing between the trees. Two deer have just run through. <laughs> Didn't hear anything like that last night though. But it does take a lot to wake me up. You can see that view there. Mountains there in the morning. That's the way out down there. What a place this is. Absolutely stunning place, isn't it? You can see obviously where they've been cutting the trees down. There as well. That's why you see if they're working in the forest today, there's probably people going to be turning up about 7 o'clock. Hopefully not earlier. <laughs> what time is it now? It's just gone half five, I think. Yeah, 25 to 6. It'll take me about 15 minutes to pack up. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm ready to go. I'll get back to you when I'm on the bike and got my helmet on. One last look round.
like YouTube, we just let it leave. This is the area where I camped. That's not rubbish, that. that's a little eggshell. Bird eggshell. Look, you'd never know I'd been. And that's how we should leave it. So we should always leave it. Bike's all packed up. Still she starts. <laughs> Well, now all this bloody gear on. This is normally one or two kicks, but a couple of times yesterday it took a little bit longer. I'm hoping I've got no problems to get started. Get out of here. Whoa. <laughs> Try that again. See my track where I came up, can't you? Not much of one, but you can see it. We're gutted if it's locked again. Ooh, <laughs> front end went then. Obviously doing something in that part of it, some sort of study or something, or conservation. That said Scottish borders, didn't it? Stay out. So it might not be the farmers. That farm, that farmhouse that was a mile up the half a mile up the road, but it might not be his land. Down onto the road, eight gates open. There we go. Beware of adders. Adders have been seen in this area. Treat adders with respect and leave them alone. If your dog, if you, if you or your dog are bitten, Go to the nearest hospital or vet as soon as possible. Alarm mines keep out. <laughs> yeah. Private danger. Scottish woodlands. Well, we're over the what's it, aren't we? So yeah, must be Scotland this part. Maybe a wild camping would have been all right, I suppose. So we can get this camera working. Oh. I'd have been in trouble though, wouldn't I have to put the chain and lock on because ain't getting out. <laughs> Maybe there'd have been another way out somewhere, but... Who 
Hopefully it's not hanging about too much. What a glorious morning. Probably found our way out that way, won't we? Slow down red squirrels. See, that looks like farmland, that. Yeah, we'd have got out that way if we had to. Another path there. Another sign for the adders. Gonna be in the long grass though, aren't they, the adders? Get back down this way, it takes us down towards. 69 on the A6 So I came the other way in So I didn't see none of this But we're coming here again I'd go in that exact spot Only problem is Is if they ever lock, if they lock that gate but I think when I come to that like sort of crossroads, if you noticed it, in the forest, if we'd have done a left, we'd have to come out that little path with no gate, unless you come to a fence. There's a lot of timber there, isn't there? Padlock doesn't even look locked properly. Well, I'm glad she went on the first kick. <laughs> Means she's doing all right. A nice peaceful spot, isn't it? I'm glad I'm I know I didn't turn back. It was a couple of times when I thought about it. But we're getting all this. I'm gonna check that I'm plugged in. <laughs> yeah, we're plugged in. Coming to some civilization, so get away a bit. You're not too far, but you had a bit away from someone's house. And a couple of houses here on farmland, didn't they? And that's nice. Very nice. 1860. Not that old, but old caravan club. <laughs> Could have camped there, probably. <laughs> Not all them caravan club places, you've got to be a member, ain't you, I think. Well, you have. Whether they'd let me sneak on in a corner somewhere. Those of you desperate, they probably would. No bungee and have it. Farmer's got his quad out ready. Another nice house, isn't it? Lovely. Come on, bungee rabbit. <laughs> 
had my breakfast. Don't want rabbit shoe. All the crows are. They have hundreds of them. Oh, I'll tell you what, look at that, look at that view. Not done this. I mean, I know we've been out early with Morphe and, and what have you, but not this early. Probably about half six now. I know we get out early and usually meet up about eight, but I love being out this early. Can't beat being out this early. <laughs> it flies. I didn't get attacked by anything last night, but that um, smidge stuff I've got, smidge or whatever it's called. If you go on their website, it shows you. Um, it's got a scale of one to five, one being no midges at all, and five being, <laughs> you better smidge up and pray. <laughs> you don't get it alive. And like, obviously, you get to three. Two is hardly any. Three is, you know, start, you know, get the smidge on. Four is that's not, that's not mist, that's a cloud of, uh, what is it, that's not mist, that's a cloud of what's it, I'm just going to pull in here a minute, that's not mist, that's a cloud of midges, and then five is, you better smidge up and pray, <laughs> you know, something along them lines, and all around this area, there's one, like no midges at all, so, and it's, they go off bite traps or something, and other things, and weather, and but all around this area, it's mostly on the west coast where them midges are bad. I'm not saying you won't get bit with stuff there, but truck going past. Yeah, I'm not saying you won't get bit there, but I don't think I got bit last night anyway. Right, I'm gonna switch off again. Switch it back on when there's something interesting because we're just gonna get on here and get out 69 and then on air six. So, I'll catch you in a bit. Look at this YouTube. <laughs> Just had a bit of time to myself riding there. Lovely morning. We're now just south of Penrith. Come off the A6 because it was boring. <laughs> Come off the A6 and picked up this road. It's still running south. Just see where we end up. But we're just south of Penrith. I was heading me down to shot the A6 and then I just turned off. Caravan park there. I had my dark visor on. Bloody sun. Only problem with her eye, innit? I don't know whether they do on the top of the range helmets, but I know a few people have got different eyes and they don't have a drop down um, visor, sun visor. I don't think this is back to A6 now. That, that's the motorway. Might be running inside the motorway now. A6 again, isn't it? We're back on the A6. We don't want Pam Ref, do we? Bolt and apple, then. Bolt. Oh, bro. Bro, that's what we want, isn't it? Bro. That's the 66. Ah. Not the A6. We well, weren't as far down as Penrith then when I uh, when I came off the A6. So we'll get to Brough and then Kirby Stevens. We 
directions are all messed up. <laughs> and fall. God knows how I've ended up there. Uh, I come end of that road and turn left, should have turned right. Idiot. Turn left has brought me slightly back north. More. No, oh, that'll work as far south as I thought. Suppose it was a bit of a mooch off the 66 to find where I parked. Might say across the 69 and go back way. Just over Adrian, just past Adrian's wall. And that was me. It was like no way was we gonna get. It was another good hour. We're I mean, not. I didn't put my tent up in the end zone, so I probably could have got up to there for around nine-ish. Would have been around the time I put my tent up anyway, up to Kielder. Just getting away. If I'd have gone the first time when I were at the garage, but I set off then, but another hour on that, if not a little bit more. Probably more than an hour on that. So I went back home then and got my roll bag out. messed about with Kate Undenard whether to go or not but I don't need that I don't need that <laughs> I do need that I do need that so I took two bits out put two bits in yeah, for up Scotch corner so we're heading the right way do a right down here through to Brough Scurvy Stevens back the way we came. Mate, I'll knock this off YouTube because it's boring isn't it on this 66. Get back to you in a bit. We're back with us YouTube. Come off the 66 now heading down into Kirby Stevens. Still nice and quiet. <laughs> so I like come roaring through with this bloody noisy thing. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Well, this is Northern Riders' backyard, then, isn't it? 
is all right for some. Be nice to live up here, wouldn't it? Well, this fan's right, but we can chill. to get to so not hold them up we'll get moving it's Friday so everyone's still out rushing to work hopefully I won't really hit any traffic on these roads Even one and a half mile will not stop. All right for fuel. I'll get down to a Kirby Longsdale and fuel up there, and then that'll get me home. Then from there, for fuel up here, I might not get home. <laughs> Like the island looks like the Isle of Man trip's been um, scuppered as well. We thought we were going, we were convinced we were going, especially when they said they were putting the uh, ferries back on and the and the and the, the airport was reopening. I don't think it was open anyway, but passengers for, uh, on Monday just gone the 20th of July, but it's for residents only. We've had an email off Steam Packet just telling us that it's for residents only and residents want to leave the island they're free to leave the island to go to UK and beyond go anywhere but when they come back they have to prove they're a resident first and then they get a sort of green card or something I can't remember exactly what it said and then they have to uh, self uh, self quarantine for 14 days So I can't see anything changing in the next four to five weeks. Which will allow us to go there and not have to self-isolate. I mean, even if they lift the um, the ban on non-residents traveling, I think there's gonna be some sort of period of uh, isolation. Which is weird, isn't it? Because <laughs> a lot of other countries, oh, backside a lot of other countries are allowing travel but the Isle of Man didn't mess about did they I mean and it worked because they only ended up with a couple of cases yeah they didn't hang about with locking it down and um, making it law about the self-isolating and giving out, dishing out uh, prison sentences. But they're a law unto themselves, aren't they? So if that's what they're saying, that's what they're saying, we can't go. There's the owl again.
we're back on YouTube. Just dropping back now and just come um, we're getting back to our Sawley I think now. Oh all in all it's been a success in the end. My mate Morph is out somewhere. <laughs> Might end up passing him, you never know. If he's heading this way. Clouding over again. Good do you two. The right good do. from the bike slowly trying to kill itself <laughs> it's running really nice though just that indicator issue melting but there's always been a problem with that because I had a problem with the MOT with it so there's obviously something wrong with that wiring so I'm going to redo all that wiring for them indicators on the back and buy some new indicators the next little job. Right up. It's what we were talking about last night and with the horses. We were dragging a bit of wood over the road, well, a big bundle of wood. Oh, he's had his little fire there. There's the other horse. Traveller, a traditional traveller. There's no wrong with that, bit of freedom. Two nice horses, a nice living van, and the open road. Morph is out on Africa Twin. That's my guess, anyway. <laughs> we we'll shall have a few of Morphy's vlogs to watch in the next couple of days. So the only thing that I plan for that's not really gone right is obviously I didn't get up to kill the but also I didn't really have that time just to sit there and yeah, well I have, I have on the bike I've had plenty of time just to sit there and uh, have a think about things but I would have liked a few hours this morning just a piece sat there with fire going and a brew but you know can always do it again I've got a week off in August so if the weather's nice <laughs> we'll go and do it again somewhere do a bit more research maybe find somewhere not as far up as Kilda it's got to be somewhere aren't they around North Yorkshire what about Gisborne Forest or something like that I bet Morphy knows a few places doesn't even have to be a wild camp what was that campsite near that stream it's not quite a campsite, but people camp there to find out who owns that land. I'm 
nice that isn't it nice river Ooh, so it smells good he's got some breakfast on with Sawley Abbey look at the mist and clouds over Pendle Hill Nice and quiet on air as well. <laughs> well, I've finally done it. Finally done it. I'm quite an heavy sleeper, me. We've used to be it, sleeping in the truck, so now it, it's like noises and stuff like that don't wake me up, obviously. That load, um, what if it were like a badger? I've heard the badgers can make like loud aggressive noises. But whatever it was, that woke me up because it was so loud and so close and it echoed around the uh, forest with being deathly silent. But other than that, nothing woke me up all night. And there probably would have been sounds and noises and creaking and what have you, but nothing woke me up all night. That's the advantage of being an heavy sleeper. <laughs> We were two deer this morning as well, I didn't, I didn't catch the first one, I just heard it and as I turned around to see the small one skipping through, that was nice to see this morning Didn't get it on camera though but still nice to see Probably the only real bit of wildlife I did see Didn't see no adders anyway, glad about that <laughs> They would have been all in the long grass and they're not aggressive anyway. Only when they feel threatened or it, you know, you'd, you're injuring them or threatening them that that they bite, that they strike and bite you. At least it weren't the brain snake. I think that's like the uh, second most venomous snake, deadliest snake. I think that can kill you in a couple of hours. Oh, what's going on here? doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. Yeah. It's like a bad smash. The junction. Hello. 
plowed into somebody at that junction, I don't know. Looks like somebody's pulled out on him anyway. Or somebody's come to a stop and he's just rear-ended someone. Glad it weren't a biker. It's not nice to see any accident, but when bikers are involved, they usually come off a lot worse. Backside, you know, you've just seen an accident just back there, and you're gonna sit right on me, chuck. We'll go back through Septon. No need for it, is there? You know what I mean? You just passed an accident and I'll sit three foot off back of me. Some people just haven't got the brains they were born with. Probably <laughs> <laughs> uh, like myself. So, have I inspired any of you to get your camping gear out and go for a wild camp? I know it's probably not been the best footage of the actual campsite and anything like that, but I'm sure you got the gist of it. You know. <laughs> Braver man than me with no shirt on. It's not that warm, pal. I hope, um, hope it's given you guys a few ideas. Um, if you're just here for the camp, if you've not um, been here before, not seen my channel before, you've just clicked on it because you're interested in camping. Um, you know, give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment, join in with the uh, with the bit of a community we've got going a bit of a um, you know a bit of banter ask me anything if you want to see a video of my kit I'll put that up obviously if you're well into your camping you'll you'll have all that anyway but if you're not if you're new to it or just want to get into it I'll gladly do a video of all my kit um, like I say if you're new to the channel it'd be good for you to stick around hit the subscribe button more than welcome hopefully like i said in august i've got a week off in august where i was supposed to be going to isle of man so maybe i'll get another day or two's camping if the weather's all right i'll definitely will 100 percent definitely will if the weather's all right get another ride out with uh with the lads that's always entertaining maybe do the peak district get a bit closer to derrick Meet up with Eric. Yeah, it'll be good to have you along and check out the channel. If you like it, stick around. If you don't, well, you don't. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> um, as well, like, obviously, if you're here for the camping, you've been watching camping videos and stuff, you'll probably know. Um, for these sheep yeah you probably know of a few people that, uh, that do the wild camping videos and motorcycle camping videos and stuff like that 
there were quite a lot of them have um, inspired me to do it and that's one of many definitely one of many that night the last good view of the day look at that until I get home and see my lovely wife <laughs> creep creep Do, 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 do. Yep, two of them. Two tractors. Two tractor and trailers. Oh no, we've got another nice view here. <laughs> A bad in. Lovely place to live, Paddyham. No, 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 a lovely house for sale. If you want to live in Paddyham, look at this, you got this on your doorstep. If you live in Paddyham, you got this all on your doorstep. Now, why would you not want this? Morphy's house for sale. Stunning house it is as well. Well, I've got another shout out to um, Blackpool Hornet, Paul, Paul Bannister, Blackpool Hornet. He's doing his um, charity ride, South Coast ride for charities next, I think it's next June or July. I'm going to stick a link up to his channel as well. He's got a page where you can donate, so I'll stick a link up to his website. He's got a forum on there, so you can get on there and chat with uh, with Paul and the other people. Um, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind. And well, pretty positive. He'd let it, you know, he's doing a lot of meetups on the route, but I'm also pretty positive that if you wanted to go along for the ride, he'd have you along. Starting in Blackpool, and heading down like Colwyn Bay and all down the, all down through the Welsh coast, and then down to the south coast and along, and then back up, back up the east side of the country, up to Skegness, and then across. say said something to me then I don't know what she said I don't know if it's the road blocked off or something <laughs> we'll find out. Anyway, yeah, I'll put a link up um, to what Paul's doing so you can have a look. Ah, that's what she's telling me. A speedy, beady, beady vehicle, is it? I've come the wrong way anyway, yeah, haven't I? It's not the way I normally come. Oh yeah, it is. That was one of the ways anyway, the garage is down there, isn't it? The infamous garage where we fueled up with diesel. <laughs> so if I do a left here, that'll put me back to the infamous lay-by, I think. 
Oh, she was giving me the heads up about the camera, that's what she was doing. Nice of her. I don't know if she was telling me that the road were closed or something. Right, we're just dropping down into Ram's Bottom now. Not far from home now. 20 minutes, I'll be back home. Oh, you might be thinking, what, well, we're a long way to go just for one night's camping and an hour sat in front of fire in the morning, but. It's the ride as well, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's the... It's the few hours riding up there and not... You know, not having to come back. not having to worry about mate oh you because if I'd have got up there <laughs> for eight o'clock and then not come back they would have gone eleven o'clock at night and I got home so yeah it's the ride as well isn't it so you know you set out somewhere you got a nice ride up there even though it weren't too pleasant when I first set off in the rain but it got better from the last hour and a half of it were really nice hour and a half two hours of it a really nice riding and it's been a really nice ride this morning even though it's got a bit chilly again now it's warmed up before but it's a bit cold again now it's still nice and quiet on roads isn't it I've noticed that this week it's been a bit quieter when I've been out in wagon, I've noticed it's a bit quieter this week. I know the, kid, the school kids are officially broke up now, but I mean, there weren't many in anyway, were there? So you had obviously your key workers in. Um, the children whose parents were key workers could have gone in and, and what have you, but none of the schools were officially fully open, but it's definitely quieting down this week, definitely, traffic wise. I know we've probably missed most of rush hour on them little lanes, but I thought it would have been busy coming through here, or busier. I'm not complaining. There's Winter Hill there, and that's my cue to say goodbye. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, if you've liked this uh, video, something different, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't, then give it the thumbs down. <laughs> Uh, please leave a comment, please like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be good to keep you on board. Try and get the subs up. Uh, hopefully this video's received well. And if you did like it and you want to see more of it and you want to see me do a bit more videos camping, more videos of my kit, even, you know, any sort of camping, let me know and I'll gladly do it. I'm definitely going to try, weather permitted, and do another one in August. So you all right, safe, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one.